What's up, Vinyl Heads? Welcome to another episode of Vinyl Snacks. Today, I'm in New Braunfels, Texas, baby, with one of my favorite, most awesomest, best friends in the whole world, John Polar Bear Gonzalez, dude. Damn right. We always go record shopping anytime. We're, I was lucky enough to be on a show with him uh, this week at the Upstage Comedy Lounge, which sold out four shows, John. Congratulations, four. Four baby. Of them. They can't get enough. So I'm gonna go in here and spend a lot of money, probably so, like three hundred dollars. Yes, that's most likely what's gonna happen. But again, we're at Stingray Records, baby. Looks like a really, really neat record store. So we're gonna go in there and check it out, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Johnny Cash and all that stuff. Right. Um, well, I like you got me school. into you. You collect a lot of Albert King. Yeah. Right. Albert King. Those sure. are go-to guys. Albert yeah. Kings. I have. I bought three records of Albert King, and all three of them are amazing. They're just you just set them up, and you just so pay the whole record on themselves. Yeah. Oh, amazing. And he's great, man. Yeah. And see, ooh, this is one I've actually been looking for too. What do you got? Dang. Right there. This That's all you, great, John, right there, bro. Um, yeah, the Isley Brothers. Mm -hmm. That's pretty neat. Yep. Get it on to the Opel. What's your um, What's your favorite record that you have in your collection? Um, that's a good question. It's It's kind of uh, in between like Louis Primo. Oh, that one yeah, Louis Primo. That one's a badass one. Um, that one, uh, Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin, I think it was Led Zeppelin 4. Yeah. And yeah, there's some pretty badass ones, dude. Mm. I like Kendrick James. <laughs> Show him the rich. <laughs> I don't know what he's holding, but. <laughs> Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Cocaine's. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Man. Yeah, fucking Al Jarreau. There he is. So a lot, of people, a lot of people don't know about Al Jarreau, but he's, uh, he's great. My dad put me on him. Kind of like a jazz, almost a little ski like that. Yeah, he kind of like ad, ad libs mm -hmm. with his sounds of with his mouth, you know. He's great, dude. Pretty pretty neat little artist. Mm -hmm. What do you uh, what do you have coming up? Any shows? Any gigs? <laughs> <laughs> He's excited about the shows I have coming up. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's like somebody threw cold water on his penis. <laughs> this is actually a really good album. Getting it. All right. Um, shows I have coming up. Uh, we'll be doing Boston, New York, um, Maryland, Timonia, Maryland, and uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, and then we'll be doing a whole nationwide tour. So that's gonna be really fun. That's pretty awesome, man. Yeah. You blew up big time on TikTok, bro. Yeah, dude. That's where it really started popping out for you. Changed my life. I could, could never believe that TikTok, of all places, would changed my life and Gary oh, no. V had been saying it for a while do, do, you, do you even think about what you're doing sometimes TikTok's fucking blowing up bro you don't fucking TikTok that's what I heard and I was like he doesn't know what he's talking about that little cute thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah man that's pretty cool man I'm really proud of you man I see you doing your thing and you know I'm, I'm, I'm along for the ride help you know been doing shows with you we're doing a show tonight in San Antonio but, yeah man you know, Cool. Had um, four sold-out shows in San Antonio, man. It's, it's insane, right? Shit's crazy. 
And it's crazy because the guy we're working with, uh, Bobby Smith of Upstage Comedy Lounge, um, I did my first show with him when I was like maybe a few months into comedy. And we did a hooligans bar. And um, there was like one person that came out for me. And that was it. And uh, now to have four sold out shows back to back to Incredible. back is just it's crazy bro that's awesome man i'm really proud of you bro thanks bro really happy for you and there we go we get to go to record stores exactly which is why we're here at stingray records which mm -hmm. john recommended never been here probably now my new favorite record store guys it's great hands down wow. if you ever in new braunfels out. if you ever in new braunfels come to stingray records great selection staff is really nice mm -hmm. very important if the staff is mean we yelp them yeah Yep, my white shit. side comes out and <laughs> fuck up their whole business. <laughs> This episode is brought to you by Toys, Monitos, and Drums, the best place to find all your used, new, vintage, classic. We got all types of toys for you. If you guys haven't been here, make sure you guys check them out at the Alamo Flea Market located in San Antonio, Texas, baby. Peace. Um, what's, how, do, how do they get here? How, what's, you know the address? Yes, it's 70, it's 7171. Uh, Highway 90 West, there and my spot is F09, Foxtrot 09. 09, baby. And again, just look for that sign, Toys, Monitos, and Drums, guys, and check it out. Make sure you guys come on and support our sponsor, Toys, Monitos. We want to appreciate you guys from Thank vinyl you. snacks to Toys, Monitos, and Drums teaming up together to bring you more items and more laughter, baby. So <laughs> keep in touch. Make sure you guys add them on, on Instagram, too, right, at Toys, Monitos, Drums. Yeah. They're on Facebook, add them, tag them if you're out here and let them know that I sent you guys. So, um, what kind of record uh, player do you have that you play with your records? Man, um, so I had gotten one off Amazon originally and it was like, I went high, it was like 280 bucks. And I got it and it wasn't good at all. It just looked cool. And oh, so I had okay. to like ship it. And I had to put it all back because you had to build it yourself. Oh, wow. So I had to put it all back, ship it back. And then I went to Guitar Center Damn. and um, there was like a manager there and he had told me about um, his setup. And he basically had like an Audio Technica Dang. with two JBLs wow. and like a mixer. So, so I have like the speakers and the record. I have the mixer, I have the uh, record player, and then the speaker. It was almost wow. like. And it's cool. And well, it plays well, by itself. You put the record and it does a. Yep, that's pretty neat. Yep, and then when it stops, it picks up and goes yeah. back. You have to do shit. The, the sound, this is very important too. When you get yourself a record, you gotta have yourself some good sounding speakers. A lot of record players come with speakers already inside of them, mm -hmm. and a lot of them are really weak. Like it sounds, it doesn't do the record any justice. Like, yeah. highly recommend. All right, if you're gonna get a record player, have it a little where you have the options where you can put wires to connect speakers to it, and that'll help also, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or get like what John that like, got everything at once. And so. it has like a bass, like the bass is yes, great. Yes, so dude. Like if you listen to something with a lot of bass, you're going to get What were we hearing sound. last time, remember? You put a record. That was the Howlin' Wolf. Oh, yes. Howlin' Wolf, uh, Muddy Waters. Yes. And, and uh, Bo Diddley. Bo Diddley. Yes. Yeah. That was Bad a cool song. record right there. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, Bad he song. played that on his, on his record player, on his system. Man, it was bumping, man. Yeah. Totally amazing. That's pretty cool, man. Uh, yeah. least, I'm glad people got to know what kind of equipment you use to play your records because that's very important. Yeah, I didn't know anything about anything. Literally, if you just go like to a guitar center or like a record store and you just tell them what you want in your budget, they'll yeah. help you out. Go that route instead of going on Amazon because Amazon kind of screwed me over. Stand up. No way. Why do you got to show me this? This is my favorite one. I know. I, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, John might like that one. My mom is 46 bucks. Chingao, oh, Stingray. T-shirts. T-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's what I got for the record store. Yes, yeah, so we got some records from Stingray. Yeah, we got some Stingray records. 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 Yeah, and we just appreciate your store. How long have you guys nice. been here? About nine years. Now. Nine years. Yeah, wow, that's pretty cool, that. man. Yeah, that's pretty Thank neat. You. Well, I appreciate you guys. Um, I, every if there's anybody out here that is out in New Braunfels, check this record store. I think this is my new favorite record store, guys. Awesome. Like I, I live over there in San Antonio, but I'm gonna be coming here a lot more. So uh, again, I appreciate it. Where? How? What's your hours? 
for 1 to 5 every day. 1 to 5 p.m., guys. Check it out. And what's the yeah. address? 243 North Union. For people that know New Braunfels, we're between Pat's Place, the little hamburger place that's been here forever. Nice. And, uh, Christus Hospital. Cool, man. Well, I appreciate yeah, it, so Kevin. We Thank you for have a big selection of everything. I know. It's incredible. Cool the store is amazing. You do have a wonderful selection. John, what cool. kind of records did you get? Oh, dude, I got a lot. They have a great selection, and like if you look at the records, like some record stores will go to, and when you get like older records, it's kind of fuzzy, and um, they they just don't play well, and they'll sell them to you, and you get home and you put them on, and it's like messed up, and it messes up your needle. But these, like I even like we the, went through them. Yeah, I was going through them too, so yeah, I, I kind of went overboard. Yeah. yeah. But um, this one right here, perfect example. The impressions keep on pushing. This is an original record, classic, and. You can even see it has the original sleeve. Record looks flawless. And that's $30 for an original like that. It's a steal. Yeah. So we'll go through these in the car. Yeah, yeah, sure exactly for sure. Yeah. Well, we appreciate it, Kevin. Thank you so much All for reading right. this report here. Yeah, yeah, and make sure you guys hit them up. Thanks. So we just left the record store, guys. We, ha we got a huge... John went balls out with it, dude. He had like eight <laughs> pounds of records, dude. <laughs> it's pretty heavy. Uh, it was not going to lie. Yeah, dude, what kind of I told you I was going to find buy a lot. Dude. I told you. No, my man's done. What kind of records did you end up getting? Fucking badass ones. Um, King of the Blues, BB King right there. Hey, baby. Classic. Let me start passing back to you. Got uh, Tony Bennett and Count Basie, dude. I've never seen this record before. Had to grab it. Got a Dean Martin because I've been looking for a Dean Martin. Nice. Can't go wrong with a Dean Martin, bro. Yeah, never. Dude. And it's a classic. I mean, that's the original. Wow. Straight classic. I've been looking for this record, as y'all saw when we were interviewing. I had to get it. The Isley God. Brothers. Such a badass album. Panty Dropper. They look fucking cool, too. Y'all saw this one, too. Al Jarreau. Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah, this one's yours. I bought this one for three Oh, five. thank you, mister! <laughs> I'm going to check this one out, man. Fucking vanilla fudge, bro. Yeah, baby. Thank you, John. Mm-hmm. That's the one I was telling y'all about. The impressions, original baby, original. Ooh, amazing. This one I had to get because it was just cool, and I just I don't know. I'm an asshole when I spend money. Um, original Boston, 40th anniversary so with vinyl art on it. Yeah, dude, that's Fucking pretty cool. Badass. This one was the one I saw in the beginning, and I just had to grab it. True oh, genius, wow. sides of Ray, and it's four different discs. Or albums, vinyls. One's a soul, one's jazz and blues, one's country, and one's pop and classics. Yeah, dude. Great. Amazing. Ray, everybody got to have a Ray Charles, man. This is one of my favorite hip hop albums, and it kind of broke the bank, but it's cool. Jay Z, The Blueprints. Yeah, right. dude. That's one of my favorite Jay Z albums. Ooh. That's just, you just put that on, you can just listen to it. This one, my dad had the cassette tape. Kenny G. Kenny he G. looks pimp in that. He looks like a rebel. Look at him. Look at him fucking look playing. Look badass, dude. Are your vagina's wet? I bet <laughs> they are. <laughs> Anytime you buy a record like that, especially like when it reminds you of like, we were talking about that when yeah. it reminds you like of a family member or like parents. Yep. You just have to have them, you know? Yeah, There's A lot sure. of sentimental value in for them. For sure, dude. This one, Tony Bennett. This is one of his badass records, dude. What a classic. And it's original too. It's called I Want to Be Around. It's a great record. And then this is, um, I've been wanting a Nat King Cole. And this one just basically for $17.99, you get two records. Nice. Original, volume two, nice. volume one. Nice. And they're both just original classics. So it's a good picks, man. Yeah, baby. Now we're heading off to do best. hotel reviews. Yeah. With John's show. What'd you get, Sean? What you got? Oh, yeah. I got. Um, where are my records? Here, so I know, got myself. Know, I got myself Dean Martin in country style. So I've never heard Dean Martin doing country. I thought that was really neat. John found it, showed it to me, and he knew that I was gonna get it. So I thought it was so cool. It's got a lot of some Hank Williams in there, some Johnny Cash covers. Dean Martin doing Cash. Covers. How neat is that? And also, like I guess how we were talking about our parents. Mm -hmm. I bought this. I have it on cassette, on CD. Anytime I ever see this. Elvis Presley, it's it's how great they are. It's a gospel album, but it reminds me of my mom because she she loved it. So I, I buy it just to. It reminds me a lot about her. So it's pretty cool to find it on on vinyl finally. So those are the records that I got, guys. 
Yeah. Right. We'll check you guys again. Let's go do your hotel review. Do it. Oh, we're just okay. Bye. Cut it. <laughs> <laughs>